What's good YouTube, it's your boy back again with another video. Hey, today we're taking a look at the Snap-on Smart Light. It's a Bluetooth light switch essentially. Uh, take a look. I know you're asking yourself, do I need a Snap-on light switch? Well, maybe, kinda. It depends on how far deep off into the smart home game you're in. So if you're just like, uh, you know, you got you some Bluetooth headphones, then you can use this light switch. Uh, you can connect it to your Bluetooth phone. There's an app, you download the app, you're able to turn it on and off from that. You can set timers, things of that nature. But, you know, those who are uh, further along in the game, you know, the ones that have like the, uh, uh, hey Google, or hey Alexa, but that's not me. I'm the Google Assistant. What can I do for you? I'm right here. I'm here too. Sorry, I don't know that one. Or you're at the beginning stages of your smart home life where it's just Bluetooth. You can use this uh, device. Uh, it works. It does exactly what it says. It's really noisy. Here, listen to it. Not only is there like this real loud clicking sound, but it also makes the motorized noise from the back of this too. So essentially, you just slide this on your light switch, uh, you press the button, it slides the switch up and down. So it's just the mechanical motor in the back. There's two magnets here. It fits almost any light socket. This comes in a few different colors as well. Um, it's really inexpensive, uh, it, it's something cool, but if it's going in your bedroom and at night, you know, unless you sleep alone, you're gonna wake somebody up, yo, so that's what it is. So to attach this thing, so basically what you wanna do is make sure your light switch is in the off position, and once it's in the off position, you wanna make sure that it says top, make sure it's at the top, and make sure that that's in the off position as well. And then you just use the two magnets here and you attach it to the uh, two screws and then boom, there you go. Voila, like magic. And it works perfectly, you just press the button in. So it has a basic app and that app is truly basic. Uh, it turns the light switch on and off. Uh, it also has where you can set a timer. Uh, also it has to where you can set it up to if you come close range to the actual uh, device itself it'll turn the light on but that's only once per day so uh, and that's it that's about all it is for the features uh, you'll find a few other things here in the uh, app but you know again not much to look for not many settings to set here but you can check it out take a look I know you're asking yourself if you had to rate this what would you rate it well, let's say that uh, five was the best, one was the worst. I would have to give this thing a two. In my, just because of in my level of smart home, uh, I look for the devices that work with my Google and Alexis uh, to make sure that uh, things are working properly uh, or things are compatible in my home, basically. So this only works with my app on my phone or on my iPad or what have you. I might as well hit the light switch. I may have my phone in my hand, but I might as well hit the light switch. It's cool to every now and then do that, but it's better to do it with your voice. Uh, and this won't work with voice until you have a smart home. This is made by SwitchMate, by the way. And SwitchMate makes a uh, hub. And if you have this connected to that hub, it will work with, I think, either Alexa or Google, I'm not sure. So. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. I'm not either, so it's okay. Subscribe.